You may be seated. Please state and spell your name for the record. Passion Cobbins, P-A-S-S-I-O-N-C-O-B-B-I-N-S. Passion Cobbins, having been first duly sworn, testified as follows to it. Good afternoon, Ms. Cobbins. Good afternoon. Ms. Cobbins, where are you from? The Melphamine Project. How old are you? I'm 25. Tell us about your educational background. How far did you go in school? I dropped out in the 11th grade. I went and got my GED. Do you have any felony convictions? Yes. What are they? Aggravated assault with a firearm. When was that? 2014. Now, did you... After that conviction, did you... What caused that conviction? Did you plead out, or was that after a trial? I pleaded out. Okay. Where? What court was that? In the state court. Now, as part of your plea in the state court, did you agree to cooperate with the government in any way? No, sir. So, there was no cooperation required under that plea agreement? No, sir. Why are you in jail right now? Because I missed my court date. Have you been promised anything by the federal government in exchange for your testimony today? No, sir. Are you expecting anything? No, sir. Are you familiar with the Young Milk Mafia? Yes. What is the Young Milk Mafia? They are a group of young boys. What do they do? They sold drugs and they killed people. How do you know that? Because I was the first lady. When did you begin associating with the Young Milk Mafia? I grew up with all of them. Do you see any members in court today? Yes. If you do, just, just point them out and describe what they're wearing one at a time. I see Jawan Forsha. He have a black tux on. I see Brian Scott. He have the glasses on. I see Delwyn McLaren. He have like a hair frizzy. I see Dedrick Keelan. He have a tie on. And Lionel Allen with the green tie. We have a couple of ties. Delwyn McLaren, can you be a little more... I'm sorry. Dedrick Keelan, can you be a little more specific regarding the color of the tie and where he sits? He's sitting in the back. He's sitting all the way in the back. And the other person with the tie that you identified. Lionel Allen. What color is his tie? Green. Your Honor, I'd ask that the record reflect identification of the defendants. Yes, she has. Miss Cobbins, were you a part of the YMM? What you mean by like if I was a part of them? Were you part of a group? Yes. What was the name of the group you were a part of? The Gualas. What was the relationship or association between the Gualas and YMM? We just was. We all was cool. Like, it was two different crews. Like, they had their crew. We had our own crew. Who else was a Guala? Me, Chenny Smith, T. Janika Newman, Triquala Jean Jenkins, and Vanessa Andrew was a few of us. Can you tell us any other YMM members that aren't in court today that you can remember? Devontae Vance, Alfred Cobbins, and Jacoby Boyd. Are you familiar with the name DeAndre Hills? Yeah, I'm sorry, DeAndre Hills. Are you familiar with the name Darius Williams? Yes. Is he a YMM member? Yes. How about Sean Grayson? Yes, he a YMM member. How about Jude Virgil? He a YMM member. Are you familiar with the name Keith Hunter? No. Jeffrey Wilson? Yes. Miss Cobbin, I'd like to show you what has been marked as Government Exhibit 175. It has not been admitted. I'd ask you to take a look at Exhibit 175 in front of you and tell me if you recognize it. Yes. 
Do you recognize? Did you recognize this exhibit? Yes. Are you in it? Yes. Do you know the people in it as well? Yes. Do you know where it was taken? No, I don't remember where. Yeah, it's on the side of the bread factory. Now, I move for admission of Government Exhibit 175. Objection? No objection. No objection. No objection. No objection. No objection. So ordered, 175. May we publish, please? Yes. Okay. Miss Cobbins, if you would, touch this photograph, not anyone's face, and tell us who the persons are one by one. Who is that? Lionel Allen. Is that, for the record, he is in the middle with a hat on? Yes. Okay. Jude Virgil. He's the second from the right. Yes. In the back. Okay. With a black shirt. That is Ray Allen. He is to the left of the last person you just identified with the red hat on turned backwards. Yes. DeAndre Hills. He's to the left of the previous individual with the second red hat on backwards. Yes. Okay. Jonesy Virgil. He's to the left of the last person you identified. Are those dreadlocks? Yes. Okay. Who is that person? Dedrick Keelan. He's the second down from the left with the red bucket hat on. Okay. Do you recognize anybody else? There are some more that you haven't identified yet. That's Rachel Allen. Dedrick Keelan has his arms around her. Floral shirt on. Yes. Go ahead. Passion Cobbins. That's you? Yes. You're up front and right behind Lionel Allen. Okay. Taranisha Williams. She is the female right behind you with the white dress on? Yes. Keisha Williams. She's to the right of Miss Allen with the blue shirt on with R.I.P. Milton. And how about the gentleman to the far left? I don't know his real name. Okay. Do you know his nickname? Minnie. All right. Are all these people YMM members or associates? Yes. We can take that down. Now, you said a little bit earlier that YMM sold drugs. Have you ever witnessed Lionel Allen sell drugs? No, I did not. You never witnessed Lionel Allen sell drugs? Oh, did I witness Lionel Allen sell it? Yes, I witnessed Lionel Allen sell drugs. What kind of drugs? Crack cocaine. How do you know this? Where were you when he was selling drugs? On the Ave. What quantities of drugs was he selling? Like an eight ball. Do you know how much he was paid for an eight ball? $100. Do you know where he got his crack cocaine from? No, not Lionel Allen. How often did you see him selling crack cocaine? Every day. About what time did you start hanging with them and see him selling crack cocaine? What year? Like, we've been around since kids, so they started YMM, like, maybe, I'm really not sure. Okay. How about Dedrick Keelan? Did you ever see him sell drugs? Yes. What kind? Crack cocaine. How often did you see him selling drugs? Every day. How about Jawan Forsha? Yes. What kind? Crack cocaine. Brian Scott? No. He didn't sell any drugs at all? He sold marijuana. He didn't sell crack cocaine. Okay. How about Delwyn McLaren? Yes, he sold drugs. Do you know who the supplier was for any of the persons you just talked about that sold drugs? Yes. Who is the supplier for Dedrick Keelan? Jeffrey Wilson. Who is Jeffrey Wilson? Who he is? Yes. He was somebody that was at our project. You witnessed Dedrick Keelan get drugs from Jeffrey Wilson? 
Yes. Was this once or more than once? Once. Were you selling drugs with them? No. No, sir. Why not? Because I didn't need to sell drugs. I did hair. 